We have the contrast here between the scribes and the Pharisees and the example of the apostles here in the readings today. The scribes and the Pharisees would uh, tie up heavy burdens for people to carry and wouldn't try to help them in any way, both figuratively and perhaps literally, you know, heavy weights, things that they would require their people to do and wouldn't try to help them make it easier for them, pile on more and more precepts for them to, to follow without giving them guidance, advice, perhaps. And then you have the, and they would, they would preach, they would preach, but they wouldn't practice what they, they preached. So they were like the elite, you know, the, the elite we talk about sometimes in politics, the, the elite, the, the elite politicians who have their careers and um, stand for what, what they stand for and then and look down on everyone else. They want to be in charge and control of everyone else, but they won't try, try to make things easier for them and help, help them help them by good laws and by, you know, building up responsibility in, in the citizens. They're the elite. They just want everyone to be dependent on government and give control and power to them. Or that's the, the one side. The other side is the example of the apostles, but really the example of Jesus Christ, too, in really uh, setting a good example uh, doing the work themselves, really caring, being fatherly to those who were in their care. As St. Paul said in his second reading, we were gentle among you as nursing mothers cares, mother, as a nursing mother cares for her children. With such affection for you, we were determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our very selves as well. So dearly, beloved, had you become to us. And St. Paul used to do, you know, didn't want to put any burden on, on the people in different places, so he would, you know, do his tent making and do, do a lot of the work for himself to earn his own bread, although he was preaching at the same time and he, and he deserved to be supported by the people, but he didn't want to, to do that. He didn't want uh, to, for the people to have any kind of um, uh, debt towards him. So we set, set that example. We have this, two, this contrast, and when we look at other people, we can uh, see them as sheep or cattle or uh, uh, people to be uh, manipulated or used in some way. Can you do it in a serious serious way of abuse, or we can sort of just do it in a judgmental way, look down on other people, Usually the younger, the younger people, we can look down on them. They're immature, they inexperienced. This generation is, this generation is, you know, uh, uh, is lost. Uh, the, 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 they're lazy or they're this or that. We can look down on, on others, um, especially the young. Uh, uh, um, or we can see them as, as as in a charitable light, you know, we were there one time too. We were immature and inexperienced and young, and uh, we need to be patient with them. We need to be to teach them and and understand their situation. They weren't brought up in the same kind of discipline that we had, the same kind of uh, strict environment, perhaps, or good parents or a good better society as it was 50 years ago. Today, the society is just so degraded that the people are not brought up well. So we can make excuses for others, and of course we need to do that, um, but we need to lift the, lift the people out of, out of that. We need to s s s be setting a good examples and look at others uh, in a charitable light rather than um, a judgmental light. We need to look at others as, as Jesus did in a, in a fatherly way. Jesus... And, and try to help others and not to 
uh, lay burdens and obstacles and judgments and on other people to make it more difficult for them to live a good life, to practice the faith, to come out of the poverty or to come out of the misery that they're in. We need to help them instead of blaming them for everything. We need to help them. This is what our Lord did. And we can be, we can be critical. We can be um, judgmental. We can be preachers of what is, is good and say, you don't listen to what I say. You don't shape up your life. It's your own fault. Or we can be real. We can, you know, that, that would be the pharisaical way or the dictatorial way. Or we can be the way of, of a leader like Jesus. Jesus was a, a leader uh, who led by example. He would go in the thick of the people and he would help them. He would cure them. He would touch them. He would go in their midst and come down to their level and lift them out, be with them, help them, care for them, teach them, counsel them, cure them, heal them, and work with them. This is the difference between these two opposite extremes of Jesus, the apostles, or the Pharisees, and the dictators, and the um, judgment, judges, and the criticizers. Um, we need to be on the side of uh, following the example of Jesus Christ who led. He didn't make, uh, he didn't just send out the apostles to go and preach and do all the work and to suffer and to do all the hard stuff. He did it himself. He led, he led the way. He showed them, and then he went to. He didn't even. He didn't even make them share in his passion. He protected them. He said, "Leave them alone. Take me." And uh, when he says something, it happens. It, uh, it's a command, and it's an absolute thing. And so he did protect them. The Pharisees and guards didn't take any of the apostles. They took only Jesus Christ, and he was that uh, lamb uh, to be sacrificed. He taught, he worked, he didn't lay burdens on others. He lifted, he, he lifted the burdens of others and he made things easier for, for others because he loved them, he loved us, he loved his sheep, he loved his people, he cared for them and he did everything he could to help us and died for us and set us this good example to follow. And, uh, and then the apostles did and followed his example. They did the work. They suffered and they died too. They followed the example of Jesus. They got in the nitty gritty. They got on the streets. They got um, in the workplaces and they did the work. They did the hard work. They did the traveling, the preaching, the hard stuff. They didn't leave it for other people to do. They didn't tie up heavy burdens for other people to carry. And... Uh, you know, we really need to 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 think about that in our in our own life. How much do we work? How much do we get into the nitty gritty to help others, to do the work, to lead? Or how much do we you know we do some of the work and we leave the rest to others? You know, when I was young, I I uh, did a lot of the hard work, and now that other people are young, let them do it. And now I can sit back and just uh, dictate. <clears throat> and uh, take it easy. No, we get it. We have to work until the end of our life. We need to be in there, on the on the ground, fighting or working. You know, we think of uh, you know Judas Maccabees, the Maccabean brothers. They they fought until the death. You know, they were they were in the midst of the of the soldiers and fighting against the the enemies of the Jews, the enemies of the temple, the enemies of the law of God. They fought and they were in the front lines. Judas was in the front lines. He was leading everybody and he was the lion and he did the work and he did, did the suffering, the fighting there and he and his brothers did the same. They didn't leave it to the others to do the fighting, to go into the front lines. They went there themselves. This is what Jesus, of course, did. This is what the saints did. They, they don't leave the work for other people to do. They do the work. They get in there and they help and they guide and they lead by example, not by uh, dictating and not by leaving things for others to do. So this is really, I think, the uh, message of the 
gospel today, not to follow the bad example of the Pharisees and the like and those who follow, follow them, those who are really in the camp of the lazy, the lazy to leave others to do, to do the work. And uh, you know, we need uh, the saints who are always the leaders. They're always the leaders to, to get in there and to teach others by their example, by their work, working with them, helping them and teaching them at the same time. So let us uh, follow the example of the apostles, Jesus Christ, and the, the, and the saints to, to help, help others to, to work hard and to set that good example. Christus.